G'day guys, how are we? Welcome to another episode of What Your Verdict. This is where we go back in time and revisit a highly controversial fight from the past and uh, go over it round by round with a brief uh, synopsis of each round, give my scorecard at the end of each round and then see what we come up with at the end and see whether you guys and girls out there agree with what I'm saying and what the experts and more importantly uh, the judges had to say. You can see in this episode we don't, we're going to do Canelo Alvarez and uh, Gennady Golovkin at number one. Uh, this took place on September 16th, 2017 at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It was promoted by Golden Boy Promotions uh, for the WBA, WBC and IBF middleweight belts. Uh, I was actually at this fight, which was uh, a really great experience being the first fight. Um, the third one was, uh, what, about six months ago at the time of recording here. It wasn't overly entertaining. Canelo Alvarez completely dominated that fight. But for this one, very, very highly controversial fight. And you probably know by watching this, it was a draw um, uh, per the judges. But I'm going to go through, as I said, and just a uh, brief uh, overview of each round and then give my score and see what we come up at the end. Alvarez going into the fight was 49-1-1. Golovkin was 37 and 0. Both fighters weighed 160 pounds. Before we get into round one, uh, the last episode was uh, Devin Haney and Vasily Lomachenko. Obviously, a very, very recent fight. I did it only a week after um, I got back from seeing that fight as well. Uh, I had it 115, 113 for Lomachenko, and 71% uh, of you guys and girls out there agree with me and gave it to Vasily Lomachenko. So uh, let's see what we can come up with this one. So we'll get into it and uh, see how we go. As I said, it was a draw initially. Let's get into round one. Uh, I've just got a very cautious start to the fight by both fighters. Uh, Golovkin, you can see there, looking to cut off the ring. Canelo content to be on the move, which is a little bit unlike Canelo. He likes to sort of come out, take center ring, take control. But obviously, Triple G is probably unlike anyone he had faced at that time, apart from a Mayweather, who's a completely different style and size uh, to Triple G. Uh, Golovkin throwing out the jab without a much uh, without much effect, while Canelo, you can see there, patiently looking for openings and looks quite content just to, just to find his groove, look for the openings. Uh, I thought Canelo upped the pace a little bit as the round went on, um, and I just thought there wasn't really a lot of exchanges in this round. You can see there... Uh, Canelo throws a couple, Golovkin throws a couple. They both shook their head at each other numerous times. Just uh, this is a this is the classic example of a pissing contest, I suppose, between two roosters um, in the division, the the two top dogs. And uh, you can see there that is the end of the round. I actually gave the round to Canelo Alvarez. Um, Again, I'm not quite sure how you guys had it out there. The three judges did agree with me, though. They had it 10-9 uh, for Canelo. Look, it could have went either way. It was just one of those rounds, which does happen in, in these types of big fights against two highly skilled and big punching fighters like Canelo and Triple G. So really no sort of um, you know, coincidence that it wasn't really um, you know, a highly entertaining round. Both really wanted to get a look at each other. And uh, as I said, I thought that Canelo just... Did enough to get the win, although I wouldn't have argued if it had went the other way. But for me, 10-9. So that makes uh, Canelo uh, the winner or the leader after one round being 10-9. to nine. Let's get into round number two. And uh, a largely, look, another largely uneventful round. Uh, Golovkin pretty much the same as the first round, looking to, to follow Canelo, uh, who again remained on the back foot, looking to counter, looking for his shots. Uh, neither fighter, I thought, landed anything significant. Um, and it is a little bit of a surprise because both of these fighters like to start quick. Golovkin likes to come in, really starts to set the pace, takes center the ring, bully his opponent around, rip and hook and uppercut. Um, whereas Canelo, similar type of style, likes to take the center ring. You can see he's actually starting to try it there, but really just continuing to have a look at uh, Triple G. Uh, Canelo did miss a big uppercut, um, you'll see here, towards the bell. But I just thought Golovkin's jab and pressure, I thought, did enough to win him a very close round. It looked a lot like the first round. You could have really given it to uh, to either one. You can see there, uh, Canelo just misses uh, the uppercut, uh, just pretty much at the bell. And uh, Golovkin just content to pump out the jab. And it was really surprising, as I said, that Canelo really throws a lot more punches. But in this one, he was really content to get on the back foot, 
let Golovkin dictate the terms, let him jab and just really have a look. Now, I'm not quite sure whether that was um, uh, you know, a pre-fight plan by Canelo or Golovkin was actually forcing him to do that, but uh, probably the most patient I'd ever seen Canelo up until that point. And that probably goes to show the respect that he had for Triple G in this fight, who was just a beast when this fight took place. So you can see there, I've given the round to Triple G, and uh, that makes the scorecards even at 19-19 apiece. And uh, again, I think I think it's sort of it's about right because both of these fighters, I think you could probably make the case of giving them them giving them uh, around well each after two. I must say I gave Golovkin this round. However, the three judges disagree with me, and all three of them gave it to Canelo, which was really surprising. So on their cards, they would have had Canelo up two rounds to zero, where I've got it one all. Interesting to hear your perspective out there. Round number three. Uh, the pace, I thought, went up a little bit in this round. Both fighters looking to take a little bit more initiative after a very, very slow start. Uh, Canelo coming forward for the first time. Not so much here, but you'll see it as the round uh, goes on. Uh, and Golovkin's really started to pump that jab. You can see there Canelo now starting to come forward and trying to put his stamp on this fight. Triple G content to go with him. Uh, a couple of good punches landed there by, uh, by Canelo. Uh, I just thought Can uh, Golovkin looked a little slower and Canelo, uh, he did miss a few punches here. Uh, Canelo, I thought, got the better of the exchanges. And I thought it just looked a little bit more comfortable. Again, another really, really tough round. You can see there now even Canelo starting to go to the body. And as I said, I just thought when Canelo started to take centre ring and really start upping the punch um, output, see a good uppercut landed there. I just thought Triple G struggled with the speed and, and the timing of Canelo. Still um, is hunting him down, but as you can see, they're not really landing anything meaningful. And I just thought that uh, Canelo did enough to take that round. So end of round three there. I've given it to Canelo Alvarez. As I said, I just thought he picked his shots a little bit better. Golovkin just, just missing by a, a centimetre or two and just looking a little bit slower than Canelo. So I've given him that round. And on my unofficial scorecard, I have a Canelo 29-28, so two rounds to one. Um, the only judge that agreed with me, I will say, was Adelaide Bird, which is probably not saying a lot, which we'll get to the end of this fight with uh, her scorecard. So she was the only one that agreed with me. So it just goes to show how close this fight was. Uh, and even looking at the box rec scoring that I'll go through after this as well, this is where fans get on there and put in their, their, um, their scoring, and we get a scorecard at the end of it, um, all over the place. So... Look, you could have it three rounds to nil either way or two rounds to Canelo or two rounds to Golovkin. It's anyone's pick. But for me, as I said, I've got it two rounds to one for uh, Canelo after three. So we go into round number four. Uh, now the pace really starts to increase. I thought both fighters looking to take more control. You see Canelo uh, using that jab as well. Uh, Triple G continuing to try and hunt Canelo down. Who I think he would have been surprised that Canelo was trying the boxing rather than punch with him. Um, good combinations there by Canelo as well. I just thought, in, as in the previous three rounds, Triple G taking centre ring, Canelo backing up, looking for the openings. Again, no meaningful punches are landed, but I thought that Triple G started to land uh, to find his range a little bit more with the jab. While Canelo, for some reason, just content to sit on the rope and probably looking to set traps to sort of lure uh, Triple G in. So maybe he can come over that big right hand that he did land a few times later in uh, in the fight. You can see there, uh, again, a Triple G looking for that overhand right. Um, and a bit, this was probably a little bit opposite to the last round. I just actually thought that Canelo was a little bit off the pace this round. And Triple G started to find his range and his timing and everything else. But I did give that round to... Uh, Triple G, which again makes the fight even 38-38 or two rounds uh, apiece. All three judges gave the round to Triple G as well on the official card. So uh, so again, two, round, two rounds each, 38-38 as we head into round number five. Um, again, Kolov continuing to press the pace. And I just thought this probably had the most action of any round of the fight so far. Uh, again, as I said, Canelo, uh, Golovkin looking to press. Canelo looking to pot him from the ropes. You can see there, content to sit on the ropes, content to let the Triple G unload. He goes back to the ropes there, as you see. And I think I just get the impression he was looking to really uh, set some traps for uh, Triple G that didn't really come, I will say, up until this point anyway. And I just thought Canelo seemed a little bit more intent on shaking his head at uh, Triple G 
to say that he wasn't having any effect rather than trying to win uh, the exchanges. And I just thought um, that he was outpunched in most of the exchanges um, and probably more so, you can see there are not really many, many, full pun many, many full punches being uh, landed. Um, a couple slipping through there, but really just both having their, their turn to throw three or four punch combinations. I did think that uh, Triple G did get uh, the better of the exchanges by just by just a fraction, I would have thought. Uh, Golovkin more than willing to go with him as the crowd starts to get up and about after round five. So I did give that round to Triple G, uh, which gives him the lead 48-47 or three rounds to two. Uh, the judges, two of the judges agree with me, Dave Moretti and Daniel Trelia both agree with me and gave the round to Triple G. So 48-47 in favour of Triple G as we head into round number six. Uh, this time it's Canelo's turn to turn up the pace, uh, really increased the uh, punch output, I thought, and he, uh, he put, started to put the pressure back onto Golovkin, who just was starting to tire a little bit. I thought you can see there Golovkin again, 48-47 on Harold Letterman's card at ringside there. So the same scorecard uh, as me. He did did tend to get a little bit more lopsided as the fight went on, I must say. Uh, but I thought Canelo was good. He stayed off the ropes for the majority of the round. And I just thought he scored uh, the better punches. And again, it was almost like that when he decided to come forward and put the, uh, the pressure back onto Triple G, that uh, Triple G did tend to then... Uh, struggle with the pace and uh, the speed and timing of uh, of Canelo. You can see there, though, Triple G continuing to try and back Canelo up, but now Canelo's starting to come forward. Uh, did look a little bit gassed, I thought. Well, you'd probably almost say both fighters starting to feel the pace a little bit as we approach uh, the halfway mark of the fight, but uh, I did give the round to Canelo this time, which again evens up the fight at 57-57. Another round that could have really went either way, we'll say. But I probably went against the golden rule. I was just thinking if you give one a really good close round, one round, you've probably probably got to um, even up next time is a really, really close round. So I know that's not really the way you're supposed to score. Um, but I just think this fight was so close. That's probably the way I went. So three rounds each, 57-57. Again, the only one went that agreed with me was Adelaide Bird, by the way. And that's not saying a lot in the scheme of things. So after six rounds, I have a dead even at 57-57. Let's get into round number seven now as we uh, cross the halfway mark of the fight. Uh, another really tough round of scores. You can see there uh, Golovkin 58-56 uh, on Harold Letterman's scorecard. Uh, Golovkin pushing the action for the entire round. Uh, Canelo on his toes looking to pick Golovkin off, which is again surprising. I would probably understand it early in the fight. But as the rounds sort of going or the rounds go on, I was a little bit surprised that Canelo stuck with that plan of trying the box Triple G, because really the only time Triple G was really having success was backing Canelo up. But when Canelo took center ring and backed Triple G up, that's when he had the better of it. So that was a little bit surprising for me. I didn't think really, there was really any meaningful punches landed, uh, but I thought Canelo landed some good jabs and counter rights, and I just thought Golovkin missed the majority of punches that, or the big punches that he threw. Uh, Golovkin looked to be dominating the action from the stands, but you can see there, not really landing a lot of uh, punches at all, I didn't think, anyway. Um, Canelo didn't really work overly hard, but I thought he picked his shots really well and did enough uh, to win the round. I know a lot of you guys out there might not agree with this, but I did think he did enough. He scored the meaningful punches. Triple G probably threw more, but didn't really land anything meaningful, if you ask me. Canelo um, landed the, the, the better punches, even though he probably only threw about half as many. But it's about... Uh, landing punches, not throwing punches. So I've got Canelo up 67 66 or four rounds to three. Uh, only one judge ad agree with me after round seven. So, uh, as I said earlier, rounds all over the place here. And if you look at the scorecards actually after this with the, the official judges, just no, I don't think there was really any rounds at all, maybe bar two or three that they actually agreed upon. That's how close this fight was. So round seven, 67, 66, four rounds to three for Canelo Alvarez as we move into round number eight. Uh, just sort of a good round for Golovkin. Uh, not only pushed the pace, but landed the better punches. So probably the best round for Triple G, I thought, uh, heading up to this point. You can see there Letterman uh, doesn't agree with me at all. Make of it what you will. 
Um, Canelo, I thought, looked to have taken the round off, which does happen in these fights sometimes. Good job there by Triple G. Uh, sometimes, yeah, the fighters will take a round off just to regroup as they prepare for the later rounds. Um, and it's sort of got on his toes again. Doesn't really engage in any exchanges. It pretty much let Triple G have uh, his, like the, the, the save for the majority of the round. Uh, I thought Triple G tried to pin Canelo in the corner numerous times. Uh, but had to be content to pick him off with some uh, with some good jabs and really good inside punch. You can see a good uppercut landed by uh, Canelo Alvarez there. Um, and I just thought Canelo, uh, try with Triple G, just did enough. As I said, I thought Canelo took the round off, content just to box, move, um, get his composure back, and really allowed Triple G to dominate the round. I've given him that round. So again, we have a tied fight after eight rounds, 76-76, four rounds apiece. The two of the judges score with me, Monretti and Trella both agree with me. Adelaide Bird, not to be, um, or not surprisingly, went with Canelo. Um, and you'll see at the end of this fight, she must be a Canelo Alvarez fan. But the two judges agree with me, gave it to Golovkin. I have it four rounds apiece as we go into round number nine. Uh, I thought another good round for Golovkin. Uh, continues to put the pressure on Canelo, who just... To, in my opinion, look to be starting to tire a little bit. You can see there he's starting to, he's trying to throw those inside punches, but not really a lot of pep on those uh, on those punches. Where Triple G to me just looks a little fresher. Uh, Canelo looks to have lost his pop, as I said in his punches. Golovkin gains confidence as the round goes on. Um, he did. Canelo did actually land a big right hand that you'll you'll see. Uh, pretty soon, but it's pretty much shaken off by Triple G. And I, rec I reckon at that stage that uh, I think it's here in a sec. There it is, that big right hand from Canelo. And you can see Triple G does not even take a backward step. And you would have, you know, you couldn't um, blame for Canelo at that point, thinking, what have I got to do to get this guy out of there? But as you can see there, Canelo, uh, Triple G picking up the pace, really starting to put the punches uh, together. Canelo tries to go with him, but as I said, I just thought he was he was really starting to tire, even though, he, in my opinion, he'd taken the previous round off. So uh, I actually gave that round again to Triple G, and he takes the lead five rounds to four, 86-85. On the official scorecards, again, Moretti and Trella agreed with me and gave uh, Triple G that round. So I'm not quite sure how the judges had it. Going at the time, I didn't really sort of get that involved. But again, two of the three judges went with me. Adelaide Bird, again, not surprisingly, went with old mate Canelo. So he was way in front of her card at this point. But I've got it 86-85 as we have three rounds to go. Who's going to take it? Are we going to round number 10? Uh, look, Canelo started really fast. Uh, and he started to throw some bombs. You can see there Harold Letterman, he has it a shutout almost for uh, for uh, Triple G. But uh, Canelo came out fast. You can see they're really looking to uh, punch, not just in bunches, but also hard. And uh, this time it's, uh, he, it's uh, Canelo getting the better of the exchanges. I uh, thought Golovkin started um, to pick up the pace after the initial burst from uh, Canelo, who then I thought started to tire. Uh, thought he, um, from about the halfway mark of that round, and I thought he dominated the rest of the round. I think Canelo would probably punch himself out after the first half of the round. You can see there, backing up, trying to suck in the breaths. Golovkin now pushes the pace, and I just thought he got the better of the uh, of the exchanges. Uh, and I thought um, Canelo, uh, looking, he just starts to look gassed, and Golovkin really picks it up. Um, and and backs Canelo up around the ring. And I was thinking right about now, we're starting to get the better of the exchange. And I thought at this point, he had the fight uh, in his keeping, and uh, which is surprising. You can see that Canelo raised the hand. I think he thought he was well in front. I didn't see it that way. I had Golovkin winning the round. 96-94 is the scorecard for me. Nine, uh, what's that? Six rounds to four after 10. And uh, gives him that two-point buffer for the first time in the fight. And I think... Uh, that was his first one, two, three, uh, third round in a row for Triple G. As we head into the championship round, which is round number 11 and 12, round number 11 first, of course. Uh, Golovin again looks to up the pace uh, and uh, or top it even further, I will say. And he swarms over Canelo. Canelo lands a good right hand there, but I just thought you can see there. Um, he's again on his toes. Uh, Triple G really starts to pick it up. Looks to have really found his grooves. He's looking to uh, close out the fight uh, in style. Really ups the pace, ups, ups his uh, punch output as well. Um, Canelo looking to uh, continue to retreat. 
and be hesitant to engage as well as having um, a low punch output, which is really surprising because he hadn't really done a lot in the last couple of rounds, and uh, which tended to be a little bit of the trend in Canelo's fights around this time. He was really starting to uh, gas out going into these later rounds. Golovkin looks extremely confident. Uh, hunting down Canelo, who looks almost resigned to his fate, that he's going to lose his fight. Uh, that's the sort of body language that um, you sort of looked at for Canelo as we uh, finish round number 11. You can see there I've given Canelo, uh, sorry, Triple G another round. So the fourth straight round for Triple G. And on my official, unofficial card, the fight is now his to lose. He's 106, 103. So seven rounds to four. And Canelo needs a knockout to win, which you all, all know, of course, did not happen. Um, none of the judges, I will say, agree with me. They all gave it to Canelo Alvarez. So make of that what you will. But uh, as I've said there, I gave the round to Triple G um, as we head into round number 12, the last round of the fight. So the boys touch gloves there. And I thought both fighters desperately trying to win the last round to close out the fight. You could probably see Canelo, I think, maybe thought he needed the round to close out the fight. Harold Letterman obviously didn't agree with um, with any of my, or my cards or the judges for that matter because he had Golovkin in a shot, pretty much a shot out there. Um, and you can, I thought Golovkin was trying hard to close out the show just to avoid what eventually happened, him getting ripped by the judges. But I did think that Canelo did uh, work a lot harder than Triple G in this round and landed the better punches. Uh, I thought he, he Canelo won the early exchanges and landed some really good punches. Golovkin, I thought, pushed forward for the entire round, um, looking to put the decision beyond doubt, but I don't think he really had too much success with any of his inside punches. I thought Canelo, I'm not sure why he didn't do this a couple of rounds before, by the way, because um, he really uh, pulled out everything in this last round. He dug deep and I thought won the round. I thought both fighters had their moments, uh, but, for, uh, but for me... Uh, I thought Canelo Alvarez did enough uh, to win the round. However, it was enough to win the fight. You can see there I've given Canelo the round 10 to 9. But for me, uh, I had it uh, Gennady, Golovkin, or Triple G, winning seven rounds to five, 115, 113. Into the official decision. Okay, the first judge, Adelaide Bird, had it 118 to 110, if you will. Gave two rounds to Triple G, which is just unfathomable if you think about it. Dave Moretti had a 115-113 for Triple G, so same as me. And Don Trellia had it, uh, I think I called him Daniel earlier, but it's Don Trellia, 114-114, an official draw, which I don't understand. Because I thought 115-113, I was actually being pretty kind to Canelo Alvarez. I thought I gave him probably more rounds than maybe a lot of you guys out there would have. I just thought um, I gave the real close rounds to Canelo um, because that's why I would have thought the judges would have had it. But, um, yeah, the 118 to 110 to Canelo Alvarez from Adelaide Bird probably should never judge again, although she did and has had numerous other um, dodgy decisions. Dave Moretti, again, I thought had it right, 115, 113. Don Trelli, look, 114, 114. It's better going for Canelo, but I, I don't know how it was six rounds apiece. As I said, I gave Canelo most of the really close rounds. I still only gave him five rounds. So on box rec, this is where you guys uh, get to um, have your say. And if you haven't um, looked at it, just go into the box rec site. Uh, beside the fight, you'll see score. Uh, click on it, and you can actually score each round and see the results. The fans, so you guys out there and myself, uh, after putting in the uh, input uh, for who we thought won each round, had it 116-112 for Triple G. So eight rounds to four for Triple G is the consensus out there. It's the overall votes put together. Um, so make of that what you will. But uh, as, as I said before, I had it 115-113 for Triple G. I don't know how the hell uh, the judges, apart from Dave Moretti, had it uh, so close. They did obviously fight uh, again a year later. Canelo Alvarez got the point in this one. A lot of people actually thought that uh, Triple G won that fight as well. We might go back and revisit that a little bit down the track. And, of course, I recently fought a third time and Canelo put it beyond doubt. And I don't know why in that fight, I will say, you can see in this fight, or see in this fight, that Triple G had all his success coming forward, putting uh, Canelo on the back foot. Uh, in the third fight, he backed up 
and I will never know why, which really pretty much allowed, I, I'm, I thought, a fading uh, Canelo to dominate it and have the fight on his own terms and pretty much have an easy win over Triple G. So there it is. What did you think? Make sure you go on our Instagram poll if you've watched it just after this is uh, posted. I think it's up for 24 hours. Uh, I will give you the results on the next video, of course. But uh, as I said in the last one, Haney, uh, Lomachenko, 71% for Lomachenko. How do you have this one? Did you go for Canelo or did you go for Triple G? Get on the poll. Let us know. Or if you've missed the poll, make sure you let us know in the comments. Really interested to hear what you guys have to say. But until the next episode, thanks for joining in. And uh, until then, watch your verdict.